Hi all, and welcome back to our, uh, to our Terraria Let's Play. Yeah, we start off here because um, I found a glitch. I don't have the key to this uh, door here, as you can see. That's because this is a hard mode dungeon. It, it's, still, it's still here, it still spawns in the world, uh, pre-hard mode. But, you cannot get in it before you kill uh, Plantera, who drops the key to the dungeon. But I found a glitch. Apparently you can... Yeah, see? Did it again. How the fuck? God damn it. Okay, uh, health, buffs. Okay, gotta be careful with these traps here. Look at that, look at all these lovely traps. Spiky ball trap, yes! <laughs> Pre-hard mode, guys, pre-hard mode. Oh. Okay, there's a trap over right here. Okay, yeah. Oh damn, these are some Seriously, spikes. Ow. Okay, you gotta be careful where you stand. Oh. Oh my god. That's a super dark trap. Ooh, you can just barely reach me. Oh, if only I had some, uh... Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that's why this is, uh... <laughs> this is pre-hard mode, guys. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I got in. <laughs> and I got... What? Oh, shit. Now I buffed myself again. Yes. Doesn't matter. How much? How many? I got 15 spiky ball traps. Nice! Oh, that's gonna be so cool. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna make a um, pre-hard mode, um, yeah, grinder. Okay, um, I'm going to use that Tinker's chest. We are going to use uh, activate when anything but a player steps on it. I'm gonna use these two. Um, oh yeah, I think I placed all, nope, wait a minute, yeah, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna <laughs> start the episode off, well, we did start the episode off by going into the uh, lizard temple and getting some spikes uh, traps, and I was going to start by showing you what all these uh, thing does and stuff like that, but uh, I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna show you what kind of uh, um, pre-hard mode, um, Grinding trap we're gonna get. Oh my god, lizard banner, lot. And this is statues. Let's just go up and place these. Come on, get up here. This is statue right there, and another one right there. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, see you in a bit. Hi all, and uh, welcome to the start of uh, our little grinding chamber here. This is where uh, one of the meteorites uh, was landing. Well, had landed, but I made it out to be like this. As you can see, there's still some, uh, there's just a, uh, still a bit of meteorites. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use these flowers up here, just to decorate it a little bit. Ooh, shoot, scared. We should get some seeds from those, and we did. Get away from me, you stupid little mon mongrels. Yeah, and let me see, what can we toss aside, just for a sec. There we go. Okay, we got... Cool. Okay... 
jumping seats we're not going to use, not going to use whip. Mm, that we can probably use. Man, they are really spawning all over the place, aren't they? Okay, we're just going to let these... Gotta be careful. Um, okay, now for the trap itself. Of course, we're gonna use mud blocks for this. Uh, let me just. Um, there is a. Uh, there's a cool way of making it, I think. Go, but we need. Ah. Uh, Actually, I don't have what we need here, so I'm gonna have to be right back, I think. Stingers, and what do we have here? We have meteorites. We're gonna use, that one's gonna use. Uh, we can probably get that one right there, and see in a bit. And we are back! This is my concept so far. Let me uh, explain it to you guys. Um... We got a bird statue down here that will summon a bird. It will, of course, always attempt to fly upwards. And because uh, a bird can be in a one space or one cube space, it will fly over here. And you see there's two prism plates right here. It will uh, activate those. And uh, for, uh, to, uh, there we go. You see all the red wires are connected to the, uh, to the spiky ball traps, right? The bird will then... Fly over these two pressure plates, click, 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 activating them just like a uh, timer would. Because, but because we did, haven't got into hard mode yet, we don't have the timers. So the bird is my timer. And how to activate the bird is when I go in here and uh, when I'm ready, I go in here and activate this button, which will in turn activate uh, six um, stones that will act as, as doors. So like this. That works. Okay, now I just need to uh, let the let the birds come out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a bit tricky uh, getting uh, 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 to stop when you f ow, 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 when you first uh, have it going. But yeah, that is the basic concept of it. Of it. Um, now we just need to. Uh, Lizard pressure plate. I don't know why I have these, but uh, yeah. Now I just need to fill up around here with uh, meteorite stone enough to make it so that uh, the meteorites will spawn. Get them just uh, up here. I'm gonna put uh, put a torch there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a torch there. Oh, take this one away. Okay, so. Let us get started on the media, right, shall we? Uh, where the heck did I put those? Ah, there we go. We need 50, 50 or more blocks of meteorite in order to make it a meteorite biome. So yeah, see you in a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gonna put on, gonna put on my lava boots. Okay, well, it seems to me that it's pretty pointless just to keep on going because it seems like they are coming, so let's try it, shall we? Let's try this uh, little mofo out. Nice! Okay then, um, let's go extremely super fast mode, what up, for about 15 minutes from now in normal time. 
see you, uh, see you when we're done. And there we go. 15 minutes has passed, guys. Okay. I just need to get out of this place. Ah, help! Come on, come on, stop, 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 stop. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Ah, help! Ow! 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 Damn! Uh. Whoa! Yeah, and also for uh, figured out a way. Um, yeah. Um, in order to stop them before uh, <laughs> we get out. Oh, no. oh yeah, fifteen minutes, guys. Damn, and we got almost six gold and stuff like that. Try and uh, try and think, uh, th uh, think of this. I leave this overnight and see how much gold we get. Sally, we're going to need a single, actually two of these, and we're going to need the green one. Uh, I have the uh, switches, good. And I'm going to sh show you what I'm, what my intentions are. Uh, we're going to need the umbrella. Where are you? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, what do you think, guys? It's pretty cool for a pre, uh, pre hard mode trap, right? Uh, we need 
need four. I think we need one. There we go. Man, it's gonna be a pain in the ass with all these meteors around. So. Take most of them away again. There we go. Now they shouldn't spawn. Yep, now it's those that comes. Okay, cool. I don't care too much about these guys because they uh, they can't do damn shit. Well, they, they can't, can't be a nuisance, but still. They cannot go through walls. So actually, oh, did I, uh, I bought the wrong one. I bought the green one. Uh, well, screw that. Oh my god. I just uh, heard like a freaking helicopter and then a gigantic moth just appeared. Jesus Christ, that thing is big. Get the fuck away from me. Oh god, I hate, the, I hate those creepy moths. I'm not afraid of them, but I just let them get away from me. It's right above my head. Get away from me. Where's my where's my little jacket? Get away from me, you stupid motherfucker. Get away. Where the fuck did he go? Where'd he go? Fucking hell. Do not. God damn, that thing is huge. Get away from me. There we go. Got him. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> damn, that thing can take a hit. Get away from me! Yeah, stay up there! Yeah, right out the, the concussion. There we go. Jesus Christ, I, ugh, I hate moths. Ugh. Okay, actually, the one we needed was the blue one. Uh, okay. Be right back, guys. And we are back. Okay, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter how the fuck you wire them, uh, because you can't see the wires in Terraria. Um, so, what I'm thinking is, uh, this red one right here. We're gonna go with number six. Okay. Ah, goddammit. Go. Number six again, and uh, yeah, up here. Good. Number seven. There we go. Number six. There we go. After those, no. Yeah, let me just see here. Okay, uh, number five. We need that one there, that one there. And it goes over there. Cool. Um, yeah, okay, and number whoop, four. First of all, let's take these two activators here. Bam, there. Okay. Number four goes up here. Over, down, and then up to a switch up there. The cool thing about it is they can actually cohabitate. <laughs> no. 
You stupid son of a mofo. Scram. Okay, number four again. Uh, actuator here. Perfect. Uh, oh, now I'm in number five. There we go. Oh. Shit. Number five up there. Cool. Now that number go. Number six. Okay, let's test this out, shall we? Oh, cut them. Come on. Okay, I'm in here. Activating the birds, right? Cool. Door closes. Bird go does his thing. Number four. Switch. I wanna stop the spiky ball trap. I open up these, wait for the spiky ball traps to uh, dissipate. I know that the I will activate the bird one more time, but now, it will only activate the spiky ball trap once. Uh, and of course, that will go away. In a bit. Cool. Now, I can just uh, go in. Activate. Close the... Uh, what? No. Apparently, that activates one of the spiky ball traps, but that doesn't matter. And then activate the doors, and then it runs. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, meteorites number two. There we go. My trap is now officially complete. <whistles> Gotta love it when things come together. Oh yeah, and I uh, expanded my little uh, place here after we were down uh, in hell getting some shadow chests. <laughs> This one, quick stackio. We still got some spiky ball traps left. Uh, World Eater banner, cool. I'm thinking of maybe making a couple of places for this when we stand down there and uh, just uh, go offline. Why do I have mandibles in here? Uh, I'm gonna have to do something with this. Bones, yeah. Chains, honey bucket. Okay, uh, wires. Blue, red. Green wire places and a wire cutter. A couple of, uh, yeah, those. Ash block, mud block, mud block. Okay, we... They can all be used as material, cool. Oh yeah, lizard pressure plate, there we go. 
Oh yeah. Lovely. <sighs> Potions chest. Uh, we can put some random stuff in this one too. Oh, forgot. Got a gigantic lever on me or switch. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can probably name one of the chest keys, right? <laughs> this one. Rename. Keys. Shadow key, shadow key, and shadow key. Okay, we got tons of gel. Sorry about that. Um, where did I have? I had a chest. Where hmm. I had a chest where I had more of those uh, hot containers or hot lanterns. Five more of those. There we go. A spear trap. Oh, damn. Just like the one we got downstairs, but the uh, a little bit more over overpowered. Okay. There we go. And we got a bunny one in here. Oh yeah. Well, without further ado, let's go down and let's see what the difference is between these weird thingies down here. I'm gonna take this chest here and let's go down where there's some light down here. Would be a preferent place to uh, do it. So see you in a bit when I have set up my testing facility. Okay then, a little testing facility down here. Got a gigantic switch here and let's see here. Let's start with the first one. Oh, what's... Yeah. Uh, let's go a little bit forward. There we go. Hmm. Nothing happens. Okay. The bunny statue, I believe, will spawn a bunny. Tons of bunnies. And goodbye. Uh, hammer statue. Doesn't do a damn thing. Uh, let's see here. Bomb statue, I know. Summons a bomb. Every 10 seconds or so, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, spear statue. 
Doesn't do anything. Uh, angel statue. Nope, doesn't do a damn thing. I post. Yeah, let's go with the eyeball statue. I had hoped it would spawn an eyeball, but nah. Cross statue. Doesn't do a damn thing. Pickaxe statue. Oh, doesn't even give a buff to the pickaxe speed. Gloom statue. Nope, doesn't do a damn thing. I hope it would do something. <laughs> the crab statue summons a crab. Ah, oh, then we know that. Pot statue. Doesn't do a damn thing. Axe statue, normal axe statue. Doesn't do a damn thing. Heart statue. I believe this one gives you a heart that gives you about 20 health. That's pretty cool. Bat statue. We can always already get what that does. Hmm? Uh, five. Huh? Yeah. Summons a bat. Star statue. Summons a hundred mana star. That's pretty damn overpowered. And now comes for the last one, the woman statue. I'm pretty sure that summons a uh, specific type of NPC, or if that NPC already got, gets summoned down. I think it's the, the, the Dranai or something like that. Nope. Doesn't do a damn thing. I would. Okay, so that has been taken off. Um, I was pretty sure that in one point uh, in the in the game it, it did do something, but we learned that the bat summons a bat statue. Uh, bat, the star uh, statue summons a little star, gives you a hundred in mana. The heart summons a little heart. Bomb summons a bomb. Crab statue summons a crab. Bunny statue summons a bunny. And yeah, that's about it. And the bird statue, of course, summons a bird. Uh, number six. There we go. So. Damn, we have done uh, a few things, huh? We have tricked the uh, dungeon, uh, the lizard dungeon into <laughs> we can get in. I don't know how, but <laughs> damn. Okay. And we have made ourselves a pre-hard mode uh, grinder, which uh, as of now is just a money grinder to grind money like a son of a bitch. There we go. So yeah, uh, pretty damn cool, I must say. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, wires down here. Books, uh, furnishings. Let's put books and furnishings. Put this chest right up here. This is a living wall. One of these pits right here. Oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake, Dranai! Uh, yeah, I made this up here because I wanted uh, a, a, a way to get out fast. But yeah, I thought that it would uh, automatically close behind me, but it doesn't. Uh, so now uh, we have to wait until it gets dark before the dry night. Uh, so it's back up here. Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, it's pretty late where I am right now. Uh, yeah. So, thank you all so very much for watching. And uh, yeah, be sure to uh, leave a like and a comment. It helps out a tremendous amount. And uh, yeah, catch on the flip side.